Hi, this is Dr. Jane Lubesher, here to tell you about the Bachelor of Arts degree in Biology, the newest degree offering in the life sciences at NC State. Started in the fall of 2016, the BA in Bio provides one more option for students interested in life sciences. Now students at NC State can earn either a BS or a BA in Biology. Before I talk more, here are some comments from current students about why they were interested in the BA in Biology. Take a minute to look at these and think, a little bit about what your reason is for considering the BA. The first question students usually ask is how the BA differs from the BS in biological sciences. The first year of courses look very similar, but after that the two degrees can be quite different. So here are the supporting science requirements in the Bachelor of Science degree. They're fairly common across most of the other life science majors. In creating the BA in Biology, we first removed some of the supporting science requirements. So if you compare the four semesters of Chemistry, two semesters Physics, two semesters of Calculus, and Bachelor of Science degree paths, here's what it looks like in the BA in Biology. Where we've cut back on each of these categories of foundational sciences. We did keep the one course requirement in statistic. Moving on to course requirements in the life sciences, here's what those look like in the BS in Biological Sciences. For the BA in Biology, we cut some specific course requirements without reducing the overall number of life science credit hours. So in particular, courses like genetics, microbiology, and biochemistry all moved from being requirements to being electives on the life science electives list. In the BA, you choose your own life science courses after completing those first two semesters of introductory biology. As you choose your life science electives, you can sample across subdisciplines, or you can focus on a particular area within the life sciences. So in comparing the BA to the BS in biology, we've talked about the foundational science requirements and the life science electives. And of course, the BA also includes general education requirements like all other degrees at NC State. What really sets the BA apart, however, are these cross-discipline electives. This is the part of your degree that you design yourself. So you pick an area of interest and create a list of courses relevant to that area your cross-discipline electives can be in any area outside of the life sciences. You may end up building on some of the general education courses you have taken. You will complete 21 credit hours of these cross-discipline electives, or CDEs as we call them, with at least 15 of those at the 300 level or higher. And as you explore courses, don't limit yourself to a single course prefix. You should look for relevant courses of interest across departments. So you identify an area of interest, explore relevant courses, and run your proposed CDE course list by your advisor for their approval. So here are some examples of cross-disciplinary topics created by students who have declared the BA in Biology. Most of these include courses with prefixes from more than one department, and you can see that our students have quite a range of interests. And you don't have to have your CDEs put together before you declare the BA in Biology. This is something you'll probably work on a little bit with your advisor after you join the major. But it is a good idea to have an idea of what your interests are. Okay, so that's the cross-discipline electives. Other requirements in the BA in Biology include an experiential learning requirement to gain real-life experience relevant to your academic and or career interests, and the Senior Capstone Project. Now this is a course that you will take your last semester as a student at NC State. So Bio 481 brings together all of the BA in Biology students who are graduating in that given semester. The focus of this one credit course is on writing a research paper in which you identify, describe, and address an important issue. In doing so, you must integrate your studies in the life sciences with your secondary discipline to address the challenge that you've chosen. It's helpful to start thinking about this early on, but you don't have to decide on the problem you'll write about until your final semester. 
but we like you to be thinking about it because it might help you decide which courses to take or it might help you get a little bit more out of the courses that you're taking. The BA in Biology is still a new program, but we do have some graduates who transferred from other majors. And here are some examples of what they're doing now. One studying health policy and health law in a master's in public health program. One's working at the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction. We have one enrolled in a dual degree program at NC Central School of Law. One working in a, a city recreation department here in North Carolina. And one pursuing a master of science degree in health informatics. So if you know you want to join the BA in biology, you just submit your application through CODA. Good grades in Bio 181 and Bio 183 will strengthen your application. And you need to have completed one semester of calculus as well as Chem 101. Because you don't do as many more advanced courses in, in calculus and chemistry as you do in the Bachelor of Science degree, the grades in those courses aren't quite as critical to your application. It's also helpful if you tell us in your CODA application why you're interested in a BA and what topic or topics you are thinking of pursuing in your cross-disciplinary studies. You don't have to have this finalized, but it will tell us that you're thinking about it. And if you have any questions, send an email. If you don't get a response, just send it again until you get one. And here is my email address.